Sean, thanks for agreeing to see me this morning and to talk about your direct payment. Um, I understand that you've had a direct payment since the 90s and you currently have five PAs that support you over a 24 hour period. Is that all right? Um, I wanted to ask, what's been the main benefit for you of having a, a direct payment to meet your care needs? I can communicate with my PAs. They know how I communicate. And they know how I work. Sean, you were saying that um, if you didn't have the consistency of your PAs, um, it can be really tiring and it can take carers a long time to understand. So I wanted to ask about, in terms of your five PAs, how long did it take them to understand your communication style and how you like things being done? About... <laughs> Three months. About three months. So, in terms of your morning routines, are there are there things that you like people to do in a specific way? <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So, as a PA, Antoine, how what is it that you understand? How did you get to understand Sean's preferences for how he likes things being done? Uh, I think just um, just obviously the. Just work to come into work, just going over the morning routine, mm -hmm. learning his preferences. Um, because what am I trying to say? Um, like me and Sean could do a whole morning where we wouldn't actually have to verbally communicate because I know exactly the procedure of what he wants done in the morning and, and how he has it done. Mm -hmm. I think having not having the same people, even if you could communicate great with Sean and understand him perfectly. Mm -hmm. If he has to uh, say, like, if his brothers were helping out or something, um, if you don't know the morning routine, it, there's quite a lot to do, and it can take a long time for Sean to explain. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Um, and obviously, Sean mentioned it took about three months for for PAs on on the whole to um, learn the routines and, and learn Sean's communication style. Was that the same for you? Yeah. yeah. Um, my um, Sean's been in my life for longer than I've worked with him. Mm -hmm. uh, I've known Sean since I was a, a child, so I've had a bit of a head start. I, I've been communicating with Sean since I, I was a kid. Mm -hmm. But tell me a bit about why it's important for you to have the continuity of the of, of PAs. Yeah. Last week. I went to former. I could take. No, sorry. I could change the the rotor to have the same. PA to come with me. So instead of having one person Monday, someone else Tuesday, someone else Wednesday, if someone asked them in advance, if someone could do the Monday to Wednesday and uh, obviously there and do, do the shifts a bit early and maybe have the next week off, if that makes sense, or, or swap the shifts. You recently had to go into hospital, is that right? Yeah. Tell me a bit about why it was important to have your PAs with you then. If I did not have my PAs, it would not be a good 
legs. Because my the A's know me. And know how to lift 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 me. And and I guess to sort of help with the other staff to understand what you're trying to explain if you want to yeah. say something. Lift him, feed him, yeah. know how he you know he likes to go for a wee or mm -hmm. a shower or what he's trying to say. Yeah. Okay. So Sean, if you if you had to start the process again, if you were having a direct payment for the first time, what would be the one or two bits of information you wish you'd known at the beginning, have, now that you've had a DP for a long time. About the tax and the national insurance and the holidays pay, holiday pay. So, you, you at the moment use an accountant, is that right? <laughs> and does he or she do all of that for you? <laughs> yeah. But if you had to do it again, you'd have liked to have had more information about what's required. <laughs> okay, thanks, yeah. 